to. I'll, I'll share this story. I, I really feel like I'm supposed to. Um, the Instagram I have now is not the Instagram I've always had. I actually had an Instagram before this that had more followers than I have now. I, I used to have an Instagram that had 57,000 followers. Back in 2019 is when um, was the last time I had it. Um, I had spent years, you know, cultivating that Instagram. At first started with doing like mobile photography, you know, and that was like blown up in like 2013 and people were following. I hit 10,000, 20,000. And then eventually I was like, I'm not a mobile photographer. I'm a preacher. So I started preaching on there. Um, and really I just started like posting pictures of me preaching, posting pictures of like lifestyle stuff. And then that started getting traction. And at the, at the, at the peak, it had 57,000 followers. And I was on a, uh, I, I don't normally say this part, but I was on a cruise ship. I was on a vacation with my family and, um, I was chilling, spending some alone time with God. And I felt like God told me this. He said, sow your influence, sow it, like give it away, like shut it down. Trust me, put it in my hands. And I was like, and that's at the time, like I was doing a bunch of major youth conferences, flying around all the, all, all over the world, honestly, but this was before COVID and I was literally going international and I, and all of that was happening because of Instagram. And, you know, God was like, I want you to sow your influence. Trust me. Almost like an Abraham Isaac moment, you know, Genesis 22. For sure. And I said, okay, I, I'll do it. And I'm, I'm aware of the concept of sowing and reaping. And, you know, you reap of the same kind that you sow. You don't, you know, sow in this form and reap in a completely different form. God honors the seed that we sow. So you sow monetarily, you should expect to reap monetarily. Now, that's not why we sow. We sow because we're obedient, but we should expect that. And I had no idea how God would do it. I have no, I had no idea what would come of it. I completely shut so that Instagram down. It. Yeah, I deleted it. I got off the cruise ship, found a Wi-Fi signal, let everyone know what was going on. I didn't want anyone thinking anything sketchy had happened. Yeah, you got I was, hacked or something. Yeah, no. I was just following the voice of God, and I drove a stake through the heart of that Instagram. It has never been open since. Um, and I didn't feel like God told me to get off the app entirely, just sacrifice that account. So I started a new account, you know, and uh, the crazy thing is this. It didn't like blow up or anything, but six months later, I get a DM from a girl. That girl today is my wife. Six months later, and literally seven months after that DM, we got married. It happened so fast. It was wild, okay? <laughs> but she told me as we got to know each other, she found out about that Instagram. She hadn't followed me or anything on it. And she told me, she said, had you had almost 60,000 followers, I would have never DM'd you. And I was like, Lord, if you did, if you did all of this just to get me her, that, that's it. That's, that's all, it. Yeah. It's worth it every time, you yeah. know. And the crazy thing is, is you know, um, this year, as I already said, I mean, I've grown from five thousand to forty thousand today. I mean, that's like literally just like eight months, something like that. So, yeah. Um, oh. And whereas last time it took me like all, like literally six years to grow from zero to 50. I mean, I'll be at 50 in a month or two, right? Um, maybe less. And so yeah. it's, I had no idea that there would one day be the algorithm that's out now. I had no idea reels would be a thing. I had no, I had no idea. God just said, obey. So I obeyed. And now I just feel like the Lord says, okay, I've seen that I can trust you. And my wife is the greatest accountability partner. She will call me on my crap. If I post anything that's not legit, if I post anything that's not genuine and she can tell like there's this or that, She'll call you out. oh, she would call me out in a heartbeat. And so, and that, that forces me. Like I was even on an Instagram live yesterday and I'm thinking, what, how, like how I'm operating, how I'm speaking to the camera, would my wife think I'm being genuine? And I'm only speaking in a way I know she would approve of. Like I'm only talking to the camera in a way I know she would be like, that's my husband. Yeah. That's Keenan. Because I don't, it's, the temptation is to be this personality and be this thing where you're trying to get people to like you and enjoy you. And it's like, no, people just want the genuine you. 